into the library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Rossetti Wordsworth. Shelley and Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Oh, no. Put them all in the box. Think it's time to go home now. It's midnight in the library. Hello. Time for all story makers to come out. Are you ready? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Rosetti Wordsworth, magical story maker, here to make stories with you. Hello. <laughs> Quick, Jelly, quick. It's over here. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, what do you think it could be? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe it's some sort of money. Oh, no. I don't think it's money. Oh, hello, my little balls of fun. Oh, hello, Rosetti. What are you up to? Uh, we were wondering if this was some money. Uh, well, I wasn't. <laughs> oh, money, money rhymes with <laughs> honey. <laughs> oh, and rhymes with um, funny. Yeah, yeah, funny money. Funny honey. <laughs> <laughs> funny honey money. Oh, you two are on good form. Oh, so, Rosetti, do you know what uh, this thing is? Yeah, the librarian dropped mm. it. Oh, yes, of course. It's a button. Oh, oh. what's that for then? Mm. Oh, Jackson, you must have noticed buttons before. Oh, um, They're on lots of things. Okay. Look, like on Jelly's top. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. The children mm. use them to button up their coats. That's mm. right. Mm. And their shirts. Very good, Jelly. Yeah, and their trousers. Mm. Yes, that's true. And, and their shoes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, well, <laughs> no. I don't think I've ever seen shoes that have buttons. Mm. No. Mm. Oh, Jelly. Come on, have a look in my pocket. See what you can find. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> um, I can't see anything. Are you sure? Mm. You must have missed it. Yeah. <gasps> there it is. Oh, a shoelace. Oh. <laughs> That's what you use to tie your shoe. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I've got one of those. You've got two, one on each shoe. Oh, Jackson, you've just made a rhyme. Have I? Yep, two, wow. shoe, two, two, shoe. Yeah. You've got two, one on each shoe. Yeah. You've got two, one on I, each shoe. I've got three now. One, two, three. You're right, ah. Jelly. Buttons and bows. Buttons, buttons and, and bows. Laces for shoes. And buttons for clothes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Buttons and bows, buttons and bows, laces for shoes, and buttons for clothes. Oh, well done, buttons story makers. Use buttons one of uh, Jelly's shoelaces buttons to make a story. Buttons. No, we can't. Oh. They're all mine. All oh. of them. Oh, well, perhaps we could use something else. Oh, we yeah. could use the librarian's button. Um, here we are. Uh, oh. <laughs> One button into the story machine for a buttony story. <laughs> now we need something from you, your imagination. Mm. Are you ready? Yeah. Imagine. 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 Imagine a story. <laughs> it's a 
alive in the spaceman stories. Oh, well done. And look, it's called Planet Bottoms. Kevin and Spanner in space to explore, seeking out planets never heard of before. From space, this planet had looked like it was covered in sweets. But now Kevin and Spanner could inspect it more closely, they saw that it was actually covered in buttons. Wow, said Kevin. There must be hundreds of buttons here. I've never seen so many different sorts. Spanner had a sniff around. Kevin was right. There were flower-shaped ones, shiny metal ones, and thin ones which sort of looked like bones. Spanner wasted no time. He started digging. Be careful, said Kevin, as buttons started flying everywhere. Hey, what are you doing? Called someone who came rushing towards Kevin and fell over. Oh, uh, whoops-a-daisy, it said to Spanner's nose. Oh, that's Spanner, and he's just looking for a bone, said Kevin. Are you all right? Kevin saw that he had very long shoelaces, which were undone. Oh, fine, thanks. I'm Bertie the Button Keeper, by the way, and you are... I'm Kevin, said Kevin. I'm sorry if Spanner was making a mess. We've never seen so many buttons before. Yes, there are millions on this planet. You see, every time someone loses a button, it finds its way here. Oh, so that's where they all go, said Kevin. Bertie walked towards them and fell over again. <laughs> oh, whoops a daisy <laughs> he said, getting up for the second time. Maybe I could find the pyjama button I lost, wondered Kevin. Just follow me, said Bertie, and he took them to an extraordinary-looking machine. Oh, oh, uh, whoops a daisy said Bertie as he fell over again. What's this, said Kevin. It's my button-sorting machine, explained Bertie. The buttons all go in the top, and this machine sorts them out. Now then, what does your pyjama button look like? Well, it, it's not like those ones, said Kevin, looking at some very shiny buttons. What about these, then? said Bertie, pointing to some very large fat buttons. Uh, no, it, it's smaller than that, said Kevin. And then, Spanner had spotted a button that looked just like Kevin's. Wow, said Kevin, that is my pyjama button. Thanks for helping me find it. Now, is there anything I can do for you before we go? Oh, um, well, said Bertie, I don't suppose you can tie shoelaces. I'm great with buttons, but shoelaces beat me every time. That's why I keep tripping over. <laughs> no problem, said Kevin, as he and Spanner each did a lace-up. There you are, double bows, said Kevin. So they should last a while. Fantastic. See you when you lose another button, then. <laughs> Spanner just knew they would be back soon. It must have all the buttons in the whole big world. <laughs> well, people certainly do seem to lose a lot of them. Uh, Rosetti, Jerry, look, I, I found another button. <laughs> oh. It's on a book, oh. um, but I can't open it because it's a bit fiddly. Oh, I'll do it. Oh, right. <laughs> ah. What's in it? Well, there's no story in it. Mm. Oh, that's silly. No, it isn't. It's a book to help little children practice different kinds of fasteners. Oh, right. Oh, oh look, I like that fasten quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Jelly. <gasps> oh, yes. There's a shoelace. Yes. There's one on my shoe, mm. one on my other yes. shoe, one Rosetti gave yes. me, and now one in the book. <laughs> there are shoelaces everywhere. Yeah. Um, uh, Jelly, could we put your shoelace in the story machine, do you think? No, it's Oh. Why don't we put the book in? Oh, oh yes, uh, we could use this. We could use a book to make a book. <laughs> <laughs> story machine, make us a story about fasten quicks. <laughs> <laughs> or even fasteners. <laughs> Are you ready to use your imagination? Imagine. Imagine. Imagine a story. <laughs> it's a fairy book. And it's called Fasteners. Do you 
think that clothes are really boring? That you only think of coats when it's cold or boring? Do you think that shoes are really old news? Well, we've got news for you. We'll wipe away the blues. Zip, zip, zip the fastener. Zip, zip the fastener dance. Rip, rip, rip the fastener. Rip, rip the fastener dance. <laughs> Just because your coats are hanging in a line doesn't mean they're having a really bad time. Just because your shoes are popped off your feet doesn't mean the moves are really on neat. Zip, zip, zip the fastener. Zip, zip the fastener dance. Rip, rip, rip the fastener. Rip, rip the fastener dance. Zip, zip, zip the fastener. Zip, zip the fastener dance. Rip, rip, rip the fastener. Rip. Rip the fastener dance. <laughs> so the next time you put on your coat and shoes, give your clothing, give them their dues. Clothes of all kinds can be really good fun. If you really want to, then you're the one to zip, zip, zip the fastener, zip, zip the fastener dance. Rip, rip, rip the fastener, rip, rip the fastener dance. Do do the fastener do do the fastener dance do. Uh, oh, what's that you're doing, Jelly? Um, it's a shoelace picture. Ooh. This one's a dog. Ooh, that looks like fun. Yeah. Hey, can I have a go? Yes. Okay. Ooh. You do it, yeah. and I'll guess. Um, is it a snake? Uh, no. Um, a road? No. A hill? No. A wave? No. What is it then? It's a mountain. Oh, mm. Jackson, <laughs> my turn. Oh, all right then. Mm. See what you make. Mm. Uh, is it an octopus? No. Oh. <laughs> um. Oh, what's it going to be? Oh. <laughs> oh, is it a fried egg? No. Oh, is it a star? Yes, you oh. guessed it. <laughs> oh, uh, Jelly, why don't we put your star into the story machine? Oh, yes, good yes. idea. Go on. Come on, star. But that's my shoelace. Jackson, I wanted to keep it. Oh, but Jelly, just think, a story with a star in it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Are you ready to make a story? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story with a star in it. It's a blue cow story. Oh, and it's called Blue Cow and the Milky Way. In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue Cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was dreaming about the stars that come out at night. I wonder what it's like up there among the stars. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a return ticket to the stars, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for the Milky Way. And then they arrived. When Blue Cow got off the bus, she could hardly believe her eyes. For parking beside her on a small star was a most unusual space rocket. Who was inside it? It didn't take long to find out. A door slid open and out stepped the greenest alien she'd ever seen. Hello, fellow traveller in space, said the alien. Hello, said Blue Cow. I'm Blue Cow. Who are you? I am known as Ariel the Alien, Traveller of the Milky Way. The, the Milky Way? Yes, the Milky Way. You are in the Milky Way. 
Blue Cow was very excited at this. Milk is a subject of great interest to cows. Uh, can you tell me, if this is the Milky Way, where is the milk, please? The milk, dear heart, comes from the great space cow. Have you never seen her? And with that, Ariel the alien gave Blue Cow a space helmet and a special mini rocket ship that fitted on her back. Moo! Ah! said Blue Cow as she made a great loop in the sky. Take this sky marker and join each star to the next. Then you will see the great space cow. Thanks, Ariel, said Blue Cow, speeding off into space with the space marker leaving a golden trail of light behind her. She flew up to the first star and along to the next, just missing a passing meteor. Then over to a few stars that were close together, all the time leaving her golden trail of light. I still can't see any cows, she thought. Ariel's rocket came zooming past. Don't forget those stars down there, or you'll never see the great space cow. Blue Cow swooped from star to star with her space marker. And then she was back at the star where she started, and she still hadn't seen any sign of the great space cow. She felt a bit disappointed. Nice work, Blue Cow. What? Where is she? Yonder! Blue Cow looked back where she had just flown, and there, like a great doctor dot in the sky, glowed the great space cow. Oh, she's magnificent! Yes, the biggest cow in the universe. But as they looked, the picture faded. Moo! Ah! The sky marker doesn't last for long, dear heart. But now you know where she is, you can follow the stars and spot her in the sky any night. You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to the Milky Way and found the great space cow. Everyone knows that cows can't go to the Milky Way. But we know they can, don't we? Yes, we do know, don't we? Yeah, I love Blue Cow. <laughs> I think it's time we button things up. Yeah, and tied them up. <laughs> yes, Belly Jean. <laughs> oh, look. The sun is unsleeping its beams. Yeah. All story makers must be hidden away before it wakes. The children will be here soon. Mm. Dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. Yeah. Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, bye, story, bye, story makers. makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Thanks for helping. Come and make some more stories soon.